Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see on the screen, I was able to reach a huge score in the Weathering Coast using no single limited hero, thanks to the new ones. This is unbelievable, this is so great and it's performing almost better than my main team. This is insane. Look at that, 5 billion damage on that guy. <laughs> because with Faction, he's gonna deal more damage thanks to the Deep Injury too, and you don't need any exclusive on Faction in order to increase that. But you're gonna need a lot of heroes, right? Because you need these two, they are new, and that one you need to summon for him if you want him, at least the first copy, because then remember that you can put some eyes on them, and you are still gonna be able to have the limited hero in two weeks, because normally you have the first copy for free. So if you are free to play, if you want to acquire more, or copies of the limited hero it's up to you uh, I, we don't know anything about the hero yet so i decided to pull for that guy because i have one less copy to obtain and so this is the score i can reach on a normal buff on the bus okay look at that this is the power of sagacity that means if i uh, do another fight using smiting with my main team i'm gonna show that to you in a moment this is the main team. If I try that, I have almost the same. That was in auto, and I don't have the best gear on my heroes comparing to uh, compared to other heroes, other players. Sorry, uh, five billion damage here. This is the same with my Indra, but look, count the number of limited heroes inside of it. You have Lydia, exclusive three and more. Esther, exclusive three and more. You have Little Jack, exclusive five. You have Jack and Roll, exclusive four. Of course, in that team, I can replace someone. I'm gonna show that to you in a moment. I can put my Ogradis instead. If you have Ogradis, of course, you are gonna deal a decent amount of damage. Uh, almost the same, in fact. Uh, look at that. Still in auto. And I have almost the same amount of damage using uh, her instead. So maybe Esther, I can use her in another team, in a direct damage team. I don't know, I have to work on that. But uh, using only these two teams, I'm gonna reach a 10 billion damage. You are gonna say to me that other players can reach the 10 billion damage using only one single team and of course this is the case. But we don't have the same echoes on heroes. Uh, they have uh, the Jack and Roll echo as uh, 5 stars, and the uh, Little Jack echo 5 stars and it's changed a lot of things in terms of damage, okay? And they are using their Little Jack in crit rate crit damage because they are using the smiting buff here. So this is the way to deal a lot of damage using Little Jack in here, but this is so freaking great. This is a, a normal buff. A normal buff, you are using that team, and look at that. Yeah, my Villette is not even 150, because the team can survive a lot during the fight. So let me try again, because it's not consistent. Sometimes it falls down a bit below. 4,500,000,000. This, this is just amazing. This is just broken. This is just broken. Uh, so right before I show you the stats of my heroes, um, let me show you against the guild boss. I don't know if you remember if you watched my previous video on which I was able to kill the boss in only one turn, but this is going to be the same. Look at that. I replaced uh, Jack and Roll by a Faxian, and if you are curious to know, the result is going to be almost the same, okay? So I'm going to do the same as on my previous video. Apply a deep injury 2 on the boss, up my defense, place the thunderstorms, use that skill, and now begin the trial, basic attack, and look at the damage. There is no jack and roll. <laughs> this is so freaking great. With only one turn, Half HP. So now using the basic attack, basic attack again. That skill, I'm gonna use that. Ultimate with Little Jack, I'm gonna put some more Thunderstorm on the boss. Basic attack. And with one less limited hero than before, almost done in only one turn. It's so close. Just need a bit more damage on my heroes and I would have been able to do it. 
So yes, faction is great to increase the power of that guy. He is exclusive 1 for now. For PvP, the exclusive 2 and 3 are going to be really important. Uh, I won't have them for now. But when, um, look at that, in the achievements, great journey, uh, no, gr yeah, gradual growth. In 13 days, I'm going to acquire that one. So it is going to be exclusive 2. And normally in 10 days, something like that, I should acquire the one um, that costs 40 euros when you complete the hero quest. And then I'm going to have the uh, hero. Yeah, everything is about to be patient in this game, to wait and save resources. And this is what I'm going to do uh, with my heroes for now. So in two weeks, I'm going to try him again, but that's how I'm on PvP. So let me show you the stats of my heroes uh, before ending the video. So this is my Indra. He is a bit better than before, a bit more defense because I'm focusing his aura. He has that one, the new one, one stars and um, level 19. I'm currently farming in auto the stage 30 of the faction abyss. So uh, soon, maybe in one month, I'm going to reach the uh, level 30. Uh, yeah, maybe in two, three weeks. I don't know exactly how much time does it take. Uh, so I have two mastery sets. Uh, he has a 60k, a 375 defense, 219% mastery, which is pretty lo a lot. And uh, half uh, the way uh, to the 100% crit rate, 206% crit damage. So still interesting in terms of damage. And I'm using that echo on him. Level 30, so he has 32% more defense and 9% more when he enters the fight, which is a lot. I'm using these those blessings. So uh, I'm using that one, a mythic one, rank A. Defense rate 35%. I, I wasn't lucky enough to get some speed ones, but I got some defense ones and so I love that. Defense, 1,172 flat defense, pretty nice. And here I have the mastery plus 20%. Uh, that one, you get it for sure when you complete the stage 23 or 24 of the cloister, if I, I, I don't remember exactly. And here, mastery plus 8.7% which is pretty a lot. In terms of emblems, this is what I'm using. And uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty all about that hero. Then uh, let's talk about the others. This is my Dian Moon. I, I could reach more damage, I, in my opinion, if I had the Excusi 3 on her. Because if you have a look, uh, after using the ultimate, okay, she's gonna deal a bit more damage, but this is what matters. After the skill is cast, if Dianmu has fewer than 4 layers of lightning mark, she will instantly gain 4 layers of them. Otherwise, all the lightstone meters will be increased by 10%. Uh, the lightning mark is really important because she has two different forms, okay? Uh, first of all, at the beginning of the fight, she's gonna use that skill and she's gonna transform into Dazzling Assault. And when she's gonna use that skill, she's gonna put a lot of thunder mark on the enemy because she will have six layers of lightning mark at the beginning of the fight. And this is what does matters. And uh, the next turn, if she uses that skill, she will put less than a 10 a Thunderstorm mark on the boss. And so your Indra will deal less damage. If you have the exclusive 3, uh, when she's going to cast that skill, um, she's going to get faster the lightning marks. And more often, she's going to place more Thunderstorm on the boss. And so your Indra for sure is going to hit more. So she has everything in speed, 2,800. Uh, she has that echo. Okay, just to deal a bit more damage. I didn't know what echo to choose. Uh, this aura to increase her speed. Uh, I'm using these blessings on her to increase her stun effect. Why not? Her stun hit and a bit her attack. Doesn't really matter. Two classic speed sets. I'm using these echo, uh, these emblems to increase her speed and effect hit, really important on her and her attack a bit. And then this is my faction. He has a speed set and the first aid set. The goal is to have a lot of speed. It's gonna matter a lot for PvP also and when I'm gonna have the exclusive 2 and 3 on him. So he has a 2662 uh, speed. 
a bit of attack. He needs a bit in order to deal some decent amount of damage because he can still deal uh, some damage. Not that much, but it's still a bit uh, more uh, to your score at the end. I'm using this echo, 5 stars, so it's increasing sometimes my attack, my crit damage or my skill damage on my entire team. So it helps a lot to increase the damage and that's an epic one. I'm using this aura, skill master 0 star to increase my damage a bit. Uh, and no blessing at all on the hero for now. I'm using these emblems on the hero, the goal is going to be to have more effect hit so he can place the debuffs and to have some more speed and also some attack and some dot damage. Interesting if you place the internal injuries with him and want to deal some damage, especially if you have the first exclusive because now he can trigger uh, the internal injuries on enemies. Also you want to have some effect hit on the hero. So I have 130% almost, important if you want to place the debuff. Okay for that guy, and uh, um, then I use the Ben Austin. Just need a lot of speed on that guy. The goal is going to be to ban that skill, never use that, and to use only the ultimate, so your entire team is going to pursue the target every, every turn. And this is the only thing you need on the hero. I'm using this echo, it matters for PvP, but you can't remove any buffs on the boss, so you want to get the damage bonus here. Uh, in terms of aura, I'm using the speed mark aura on that boss because I already have the skill master aura on faction. And so the, the higher the speed, the better, the more often you are going to pursue the boss. No blessing. And I'm using these emblems. So the speed matters. Okay, for him, I don't remember the last hero I used. So, Dianmu, Indra, Ben Austin. Uh -huh. What was the last? Okay, that was more um, Slivel. Not Slivel, um, Villette. Villette. Okay, level 130. Only speed on her, she is not even skilled up. Uh, the goal is gonna be for her to apply Ripple 2 on my Indra, and um, so he's gonna deal more damage on the basic attack. This is what does Ripple 2. Really important, and also if you can put some effect hit on her, she's gonna put Wet 2 on the boss, lowering the damage he's gonna uh, deal on the basic attack by 40%, and so it's gonna be a bit easier to survive during the fight. Uh, I'm using uh, no emblems at all because she's not even A5, and no, uh, no echo, but I'm using this aura, Combat Vanguard, and it's pretty nice to use that on her because on her, all her skills, she attacks the boss. And so she can put the debuff, increasing the damage taken by the boss before my Indra attacks. And this is really important. And I have no blessing at all. Also, I forgot to mention something about faction. Something really interesting to, to know about. Um, with his passive, uh, if the boss has internal injury or deep internal injury, on him, every time he's gonna apply a, an attribute debuff to a, that guy, he's gonna reflect the, the attribute debuff to the boss. That means the boss can inflict attack down and defense down to your heroes. And so you can reflect the defense down 60% and the attack down 60%. So you are gonna be safer with your team thanks to the attack down and you are gonna deal more direct damage thanks to the defense down. And this is so great to have that on that guy in your team. So that was all for the video. I'm gonna try to concentrate um, around a team using faction for dungeons without limited heroes to see how high I can farm. That could be interesting. Tell me what you think about that in the comment below. Wish you have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.